wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. If I'd thought about this too much, I'd never get through it. Oofe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs.
Bezos' ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. evidence for De Silva. I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Buffet. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get... Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
this was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. I hadn't slept in days. I needed something to keep me going. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research. Please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! E ali, Totó? For all Serrano owed me, he paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. something I wasn't seeing. locked from the outside. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. about this too much, I'd never get through it. I had 
to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. I'd seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Time I'd bought had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now.
It seemed a shame to waste the rest of the C4. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Want to know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue. That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs. We pay for everything. We have the records. Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck. We kept people safe in the city. Decent people. Safe. I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Why? To save you. Well, oh, yeah, real hero. 
Listen. Just now, come with me, Max, to Brazil. Give me a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works. <laughs> 